Hi and welcome again to Dentlinks. I'm Peter Tawil and today we'll be showing you a connected tissue graft case using tunneling technique. The initial situation presents as a class 1 Miller and a central incisor. Uh, we first started by curetting or root planning the exposed surface, the tooth. Then when we did this distal incision in for the tunneling and a partial thickness flap, obviously. Uh, then the partial thickness flap reflection is done through that opening on the distal and you can clearly see the elevator showing through the gum. Gum was extremely friable and extremely thin. The gingiva was extremely thin in that case. So we dissect properly the mesial and distal parts of the recession. This is going through the uh, mesial, which is the tunnel. Very, uh, very meticulously and precisely, we do the reflection of the flap. Important also to detach the attached gingiva and dissect the cervical attachment properly in order to fit the graft into its recipient bed. Then what we choose is the palate as a donor site. We harvest a full thickness graft, meaning epithelium and connective tissue, in a technique uh, described by Zucchelli. This is uh, the graft harvested with epithelium. We also preserve the periosteum in the palate for a better and faster healing. The graph is dissected properly. What we do next is uh, mark uh, some lines in the width of the graph to properly visualize where we de-epithelize. And then we de-epithelize, meaning removal of the epithelium layer with a proper and sharp dissection of the epithelium. Once this is done, we adapt the connective tissue to the recipient bed and suture, first of all, the distal part of the graft and attach it properly to the recipient bed. This is done with the five zero Vicry sutures. Once the graft is tucked in and stabilized properly with sling sutures, we suture the recession itself. However, in that case, the tissue were very, very friable and the tissues were very, very extremely thin. So uh, we had to advance uh, some part of the vestibule to be able to cover that excessive connective tissue and we did a and you will see it uh, in a few moments we did a, a full a, a sling suture to advance the vestibule and cover the recession as you can see it here this is the result five weeks post-operative which is a fair result. We have a good base of connective tissue that is grown. Uh, we have covered about 90% of the recession, knowing that it, the tissues were extremely friable. And we rely now on the creeping attachment that should follow within the next six months. Uh, we we'll stay tuned and we will uh, continue in showing you the results of that case as the time goes by. I thank you and I thank you for your attention.